Hi guys, welcome back to the Aromadicto world. Today I want to show you guys my December perfume tray. December is a cold month. We're going to want to cuddle up. I live in the Netherlands. It's been cold AF here. So we're going to want to cuddle up. We're going to want those perfumes that project, that are strong, that warm us through these long winter days. I am not a winter girl. I'm from Aruba. Aruba is hot all year round. So this is really not my kind of weather, but these are my kinds of perfumes. So let's get into them. Gonna start from the back. We have Uniki Luxuries Istanbul. And I said it before, you guys, if you know Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, Uniki Luxuries Istanbul is that on steroids. There's toffee, there's grape, there's neroli in this. This very much gives you Love Don't Be Shy. Maybe slightly, slightly more citrus, slightly less marshmallow but it packs a punch 10 hours of wear minimum then we have this beautiful unicorn if you know her you may love her you may really hate her but this is possibilities by la perla possibilities has notes of black currant there's rose in this there's an overdose of akigala wood and to me this is what jessica rabbit would smell like this is not a perfume you pull out for all occasions. I scoured the internet for this. Finally found someone selling a 40ml partial on Parfumo because it's been sold out everywhere. But I don't mind having a partial because it's not a perfume that you can wear for just anything. This is not an everyday wear for me. Now, I'm the kind of girl that wears everything every day, but I have a couple of perfumes, and this is one of them, that are really just for special occasions. Look at the little baby. Another reason why I don't mind having just a partial of the big bottle. This is a Jessica Rabbit red dress in heels. You're dressed up for a gala kind of perfume. This is a special occasion scent. You're going to project and la this lasts for 12 hours. It's one of the perfumes, one of the few perfumes that lasts so long that generally I get sick of wearing at some point. By the end of the day, I'm like, I need a shower because it's just not going away. But my boyfriend loves this. I do think it's a man-eater kind of fragrance if those even exist. La Perla Possibilities. How did I do this last time? My hand is already tired. Next we have Lira, not Lira, Lord. Next we have Italica by Sergioff from their Casamurati line. Italica was the first niche perfume that I ever purchased. I got it when I was in Krakow in Poland and I went there for Lira, left with this. I couldn't even believe it. I'd never smelled something so perfectly gourmand. Up until that point, I was mostly a fruity floral girl. I never smell something that was just pure gourmand. There's no, there's no florals. There's no real woodiness. There's sandalwood in this, but I don't really smell that too much. Just baked pastry heaven. I only wear this in winter. It's also quite sentimental for me. I've had it for about two years now. I only wear it in winter. I love to spray it on a thick sweater because that's how I get the most, uh, the best scent bubble. It is beautiful, perfectly done. And I never do this, but again, I was young. I was new to this whole business. I'd only had my page, I think, even for like three weeks. But I paid full price for this. I paid the full 300 euros for this. I'm sorry, mommy, if you're watching this. And it was worth it. What can I say? Next, we have a perfume that is not talked about as often as it should be. This is Faiza by Ramon Monegal. Faiza is so beautiful to me, but genuinely can only be worn in the cold. It has caramel, it has oud, it has saffron lemon and raspberry and it has more notes than that but these are the notes that i get it smells like old money and my family there is no old money here <laughs> there really isn't i'm the richest person in my family i think but if i ever want to smell like old money this is what i'm reaching for this is one of those perfumes that i i never had this but i actually go nose blind to it because it's so strong but i love it so much that i can't help but overspray i got my bottle last year Around Christmas time, I got a partial, and I've worn it quite a bit in winter, but it's just like, it's so strong, you can't even really overspray it. But the dent is there, though there was already a tiny dent when I bought this. And it's one of those perfumes with a magnetic cap. You know, y'all know I love that. I forgot to add this one to the tray before setting it up, but this is Pana di Zucchero by Monolith, and it smells like custard. Basically, this smells like custard. It is an Italian gourmand. I will be sharing where I got this. I got this on Amelis Essenze. And it is beautiful. It is sweet. It is creamy. There's coconut, almond, milk in this. The base is literally a cream note. I've worn it already. I wanted to work and it was a hit with people. I didn't have to spray too much to get a beautiful scent bubble that lasted at least seven hours. I even layered this with devotion and it was amazing. So again, that is... 
Bada di Zucchero by Monolith. I'm gonna fit you in right here. All right. If you haven't seen it already, I posted a short with my first impressions of this perfume, but this is Baklava Royale by Navitus Excabulous Perfumes. This is her latest release with them. And this is a masterpiece. Honestly, you guys, I've never had baklava. I can't tell you if it smells just like that, but it smells like, it smells nutty, it's honeyed. The floral adds a little bit of an interesting aspect to it. The floral in here is orange blossom, which I'm, I really started to enjoy this year, orange blossom. There's vanilla in this. The pistachio and the almond play really well together. And I have no issues with performance, which is awesome. That is Baklava Royale by Navitus X Gabulous Perfumes. And here I have her first release with them from last year. This is Chocolate Queen. This is a Tootsie Roll dipped in Baileys. Strong, potent, after I let it sit for a little while. A beautiful, beautiful release. But I can't wait to layer with lots of things on this perfume tray. Next, we have my second bottle of Bianco Latte. I am about here with this bottle, which makes me sick, but it's fine because I have a uh, backup in my cupboard over here. But I love Bianco Latte. It is a sweet, creamy vanilla. It puts out no airs about being anything else. The performance is stellar. There is nothing that will get you compliments like this does, if that's something that's important to you. Bianco Latte by Giardino di Toscana. And then, this is very new in my collection, this is Mahar Lu, Excited Parfum by Olfatology. I'd never tried anything from Olfatology before, but the same family who owns Bois 1920 and Profumo di Firenze sent me Mahar Lu. They let me choose a fragrance. And this is a juicy cherry, you guys. I haven't full wear tested yet, but it is a juicy cherry. There's also plum and cinnamon in this, which quite, like, which really scared me if I'm being real. But the plum just adds another fruity aspect. And the cinnamon just serves to add a bit of spice, but not actually cinnamon cinnamon, which is great. I decided to test that out this month because cherry is a wonderful fruit note to be wearing in winter. I'm switching hands here because your girl is suffering. Next we have Madeira by Omnia Profumi. And you guys, I am halfway through this bottle and I'm so sad about it, but it's so good. It is, again, it doesn't put on any airs. This is melted caramel with maybe a hint of coconut. It is pure gourmand. And I love to layer it with just about anything. I'm not seeing anything here. Maybe possibilities I wouldn't layer it with, but everything else it would layer with beautifully. I do wish I'd projected a tiny bit more, but it does last a really long time. You get full day wear off of this. And I overspray anyway, so it's whatever. This is lovely. And I, I can't wait to try more by Omnia Profumi. I have my I Am Platino and Rame. Next, we have Followed by Kerosene. You guys, I've talked about Followed before. Lots of people have. Followed is probably the most potent beast mode perfume ever, ever, ever. It is a coffee fragrance with chocolate. It smells like it smells like drinking black coffee next to a stack of pancakes with maple syrup on them. It is gourmand and dark and deep. This is a winter only fragrance. Literally, if it's 15 degrees outside, there's no point in wearing this. It sticks to you like you would not believe. This is the only perfume, let me look around. Yep, the only perfume in my collection that I do three sprays of and I'm done. This is the first perfume I bought this year. So I've had it for almost exactly a year and the dent is only to here, even though I've worn it a bunch of times. Because yeah, I'm not, I can't be crazy over spraying this, you just can't. And usually an oversprayer like me would hear that and take it as a challenge. Don't do that here. Or do, live your life. Speaking of coffee fragrances, we have Duro Café by Bois 1920. This is a dark gothic, it's even darker than followed, dark gothic coffee, dark roast coffee with dark chocolate. The chocolate in that is almost pure. The chocolate in followed is just chocolate. The chocolate in here is almost pure. It has sugar as well with vanilla in the base, if I'm not mistaken, or brown sugar. It's like a coffee with no milk at all. Not super beast mode, but definitely long lasting with a wonderful scent bubble. You don't have to overspray this either. I do, because that's just who I am as a person, but I love it. That is Duro Cafe. The name is on the back. And the last for the full bottles, I have Vanilla by Teodoro Scalatinis. Vanilla is one of my favorite vanillas. As you can see, there's definitely a dent in here. 
This is 45 euros and it smells like vanilla buttercream frosting. An earthy vanilla buttercream frosting because there is patchouli in this. It is a wonderful, again, layering vanilla. I am a layering girl. It is a wonderful layering vanilla, sweet with a little bit of an earthy kick. So, so affordable. Teodoro Scalatini seems like a really nice man. So I definitely recommend you checking out these creations, especially vanilla and velvet chocolate. Those are my favorites. And last but not least for my sample. This is actually also my scent of the day. Ooh, focus. Focus. Come on now. See the name? It is Cherry Punk x Straight by Room 1015. I, this is the, my second time wearing the sample and I'm almost done with it. I love this, you guys. They amped up the leather, which I never thought I would love, but I think they've also amped up the cherry in this because it is even sweeter, even juicier, with more leather, but with less saffron, which I don't know. I don't seem to mind as much as I thought I would, even though I love saffron and perfume. I went to the store two hours after I sprayed this. I was wearing my big jacket that I didn't spray this on, and the lady at the cash register told me that I smell nice. So, I guess this really packs a punch. Full bottle worthy. And I got my sample on Joy Paris. That was it, you guys. That is the perfume tray for December. Please let me know what you're putting on your perfume tray. If you make one, do you make a monthly one? Do you make a weekly one? I do either or, but lately I'm enjoying monthly ones. Also, let me know what you think of my little festive background. Cute, right? Right? Thank you for spending time with the Aroma Dicta world. I do hope you're subscribed, and I hope to see you next time.